All right, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to pin this butterfly. I mean, as you can see here, I already have some butterflies pinned, but I want to show you guys how I do it. Maybe that'll help you do it your own way, or you could do it my way. So what I like to do first is I like to take some of my pins and I'm using a size one. You don't need a size one. You could probably use a size two or three or whatever. I'm just using a smaller size because that's the one I picked. Anyways, you put the pins, a couple of them here off to the side. <laughs> Makes it easier. Then you don't have to keep reaching in the container and grabbing more pins. So we'll pull a few out, put it off to the side. And the next thing I like to do is I like to take some pins and put one down here. Oop. Well, I lost that one. There we go. I like to take some pins and I like to put them down on the sides of the butterfly so the butterfly doesn't move around a whole bunch when I'm trying to pin its wings down. And I just do one for each side. Because sometimes the butterfly likes to kind of swivel back and forth like this. <laughs> Next thing we are going to do is we're going to take some wax paper. Small strip, big strip, just as long as it's longer than the butterfly wing. And you know what? I need to cut this, so give me one second. Okay, so we're going to cut this the size of the butterfly wing, over the size of the butterfly wing. You don't want it too short because then you won't be able to put pins on the wax paper and not the butterfly wing. So we're going to take the wax paper and we're going to push the wing down like this. And then you're going to take some pins and you're going to put pins around the outside of the wing, pinning the wax paper to the board. We're going to put some on the top and on the bottom. Now as you can see I need more pins. I don't have enough so that's what I mean. Now I have to reach into my container and grab some more. So we'll try to get the right amount this time. <laughs> All right. Now we are gonna take the other piece of wax paper that I cut, and I need to cut it a little bit shorter again. <laughs> and we are gonna take the wing on this side and put the wax paper over it and pull it down onto the board. And then we're going to put pins in it to keep it in place. Alright, the next thing we're going to do, because as you can see this butterfly right here, it's wings are up and really pretty and this one its wings are kind of like down this way instead of up so what we're going to do is we're going to take the pins on the top by the top wing we're going to take them off and then we're going to lift the wax paper up very gently and then what you're going to do is you're going to move the wing very gently up into an upward motion as you can see on the video I'm moving it and then you'll put the wax paper back down because you want to keep the wing in place now my hand is in the way and I'm sorry but that's all right <laughs>
Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. And gently take the wing and just pull it up. Oh, I lost it there. There's like a little vein or something in the wing that's really strong. So when you pull the wing up, you do it with that very thin line at the top of the wing. It's very thin, and you can see it right here, very thin line. And you use that to pull the wing up. You don't want to put it through the wing because that will ruin it. Or it might rip it, and we don't want that. And I think it looks pretty good. This butterfly doesn't have any antenna, so we don't need to move the antenna, unfortunately. Sometimes, though, when you are pinning butterflies, you need to also move the bottom wings. The bottom part of the wings. So, what you would do if you needed to do that is you would lift the bottom paper up and very gently move the wing. <laughs> and then put the paper back over really fast and pin it down. Looks like we'll fix this side too, just to be symmetrical. And that is how you pin a butterfly. Hope you guys like my video. Click the like button up below and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.